Lynn, what are we expecting on that front? Well, it's interesting, isn't it, Sherry? The last week of the year, and there is so much going on in Congress, uh, you just broke the news about the uh, veto that's uh, been approved, voted positively on by the House over uh, the to override uh, Donald Trump's uh, override of their defense bill. And this is a very important bill. Em Emily Wick Wilkins explaining it from Washington in the last hour. Uh, it's expected to pass the uh, override of, Don of Donald Trump's veto tomorrow in the Senate. That's where it has to go next because you have to fund the military. So we put that to one side and look at this this uh, bill about checks, bigger checks that we were talking about uh, yesterday. Donald Trump, of course, had pushed hard to get this, and that's probably one of the reasons why you got the bipartisan vote, 275 to 134 in the House of Representatives, which allowed them to get this expedited vote, the two-thirds majority that they needed to get. Um, and beyond that, uh, Donald Trump didn't just encourage Democrats. Uh, you were also talking earlier about Marky, Marco Rubio, senator from Florida, Republican, who is on board now with $2,000 virus relief checks. Um, Lindsey Graham, uh, a senator, Republican senator, big supporter of Donald Trump's, getting on board a couple of uh, a couple of days ago. So you can see some support building there. Um, and at the same time, do you remember the White House statement when Trump uh, signed the relief bill, which he had been pushing back because it only had the measly, the ridiculously small, as he called them, $600 checks. He wanted the $2,000 checks. He said the Senate would be have, putting in process a bill for the $2,000 checks and uh, liability protections against uh, in social media and an investigation into fraud. There's been no further reporting backing any of that up. And we do know that the Democratic uh, majority leader in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, has already said he wants to send a clean bill through the Senate to get the $2,000 relief checks okayed. So, Again, the GOP, the Republicans, have pushed so hard for the fiscally conservative side. They have said $600 was the most they could spend, so they're in a tough spot. One way or another, though, the American people are going to start getting $600 a week checks now. And, in fact, if the new bill passes the Senate for $2,000 checks, it's not a done deal. They will get the bill, uh, the next checks, bigger to make up the difference between $600 and $2,000. Uh, Kathleen, we're just getting some more details on that override of President Trump's veto of the defense bill. The vote, 322 to 87, so a huge margin there. And the Speaker Pelosi saying the president must end his 11th hour campaign of chaos. But if we return to the story of the stimulus checks, well, there's a rather important senator runoff coming up in Georgia. Uh, how much of a part did that play and the push to get those checks approved, because if you're a Republican, you don't really want to be seen standing in the way of that, I guess. Well, it's fascinating. Bloomberg, a terrific story today by our own Nancy Cook in Washington. She did some reporting and found out that one of the two Republican senators in the tight, tight uh, runoff race in Georgia actually called Donald Trump on Christmas Day to make a push for him to sign the virus relief bill. That's David Perdue. And apparently in this call, he said, look, you know, you have to, you have to sign this virus relief bill. That's how we're going to get the jobless checks out, the unemployment checks to uh, workers, vaccine distribution, the moratorium on evictions. All this is so important. And in fact, his opponent, Democrat John Ossoff, was trying to blame Republicans, according to Nancy Cook's reporting, for the fact that Trump wasn't signing the bill. He also, David Perdue, um, reached out to an ally of his in the White House, Larry Kudlow, the chief economic advisor to the president, and even the president's daughter, Ivanka Trump. Looks like it had an impact. Uh, so that vote on January 5th, also in the mix, Paul, no doubt about it. Does it make an entryway for other Republicans who might be on the fence to go ahead and get on board with $2,000? It's going to cost a lot of money. You even have a prominent Democrat, uh, Larry Summers, former Treasury Secretary under President Obama, saying they're not a good idea. The, the money needs to be spent in a more targeted way, but it's a fascinating story. Uh, and I think you really have to see that even as he leaves the White House, uh, Donald Trump's still having an influence.